It's also very bad on the huge Navajo reservation. Poverty plays a big role. Many families... accuse you know uh people with red hats or whatever of of doing fraud they didn't do fraud but these challengers who were obviously in the room which donald trump says they weren't because that's a lie uh they were intimidating the poll workers who were just trying to do their jobs that's all they were trying to do they wouldn't wear masks they were getting in people's faces they were trying to operate machines they were objecting to every single ballot they were trying to slow down everything they were trying to uh intimidate the poll workers who were in the middle of a pandemic showing up for shifts that lasted 10 hours, 12 hours, in order to count the ballots, in order to do the work, the honest work of running an American election. And it was all streamed. See, that's the crazy part. It was all these counting rooms, these, these places, they were all streaming online. Everybody could see. And now... You got Republicans telling Republicans, you didn't see what you saw. I'm telling you, it's like the Star Wars movie. These droids mean nothing to you. It's, it, you know, they're trying to do, a, you know, some kind of a Jedi trick, I swear to God. And our only hope is Obi-Wan to get away from the Death Star. It has to be destroyed, this Death Star that we're living on. And that's what America has become. We're the only country that has this kind of carnage. We're the only country that has 3,000 deaths a day. I think Japan, during the whole epidemic, had 3,000 deaths. The whole thing. This is just, this is a tragedy. It didn't have to happen, but it did happen, and now people need money. Vicki in Florida. Hi, Randy, long time no talk. Oh. Um, Where you been? What do you know? I'm in Coral Springs trying to run a little business. Good. Um, we actually had a very good um, experience with the PPP, but we had to work at it. And we are lucky we have a community bank. So I would tell anyone that owns a small business not to do their banking at one of these big behemoth banks because they don't care about you. No. You do it at a community bank or a credit union or a smaller bank, and but we do you have... know? Do you know how lucky you are? Because I know. In eight days, remember the PPP ran out. In eight days, I know. Okay, so why is it that it ran out in eight days? It ran out in eight days because it went to the big guys. Right, right. It was atrocious. So you're very and lucky. I know I am. The other thing that's interesting is our bank is refusing to release the names of the companies they funded. Right. So I think there are probably a lot of small companies that are not going to be identified, but there was a tremendous amount of, of crap because I watched it go on. Some was, of it. Okay, so the, the, the information is just now being made available because, like I said, the Washington Post and 10 other news organizations 
were able to file a Freedom of Information Act request. Yeah. And that's why Katie Porter was so incensed yesterday because she is now starting to see uh, the information that we all... I love that woman. Oh, she's amazing. I mean, listen, you can't beat a big brain. You just can't. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but when you have, uh, you know, somebody with a big brain and a depraved heart like a Mitch McConnell, you need somebody like a Katie Porter with a big brain and an understanding heart who lives among the people, okay, to advocate for us. And the, there is not a chance with Mitch McConnell as the majority leader yeah. that Joe Biden could possibly be successful in doing what needs to be done for the relief of us, the American people. There is not yeah. a chance. We don't have a prayer. You, you get, you, you, we lo if we don't get the Senate, okay, the, you know. We're screwed, excuse me. Totally, totally. It's going to be two years of nothing but obstruction. He's not even going to confirm Joe Biden's cabinet members, okay? They, they're going to be, That's they're going to be fighting to have an OMB director, a freaking OMB director, as if, you know, that, that, that amounts to, uh, you know, the price of rice in China. It, it is, <laughs> it's so ridiculous, the crap, the fights that they're going to pick over Biden's cabinet, uh, you know, uh, uh, nominees, is going to go on and on and on while people continue to die and wait in line for food, wait in line for vaccinations in three months, wait in line for test results now. I mean, it's just so inexcusable. Well, like, like you, I have an, uh, an elderly mother that I've been able to see exactly once who lives on the other side. he's had with his client no okay, because she is it you, you we lose if we don't get the senate okay the, you know we're screwed excuse me totally totally it's gonna be two years of nothing but obstruction he's not even gonna confirm joe biden's cabinet members okay they're, they're gonna be That's they're gonna be fighting to have an OMB director, a freaking OMB director, as if you know that 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 amounts to uh, you know the price of rice in China. It, it is <laughs> it's so ridiculous the crap, the fights that they're gonna pick over Biden's cabinet, uh, you know, uh, uh, nominees is gonna go on and on and on while people continue to die and wait in line for food, wait in line for vaccinations in three months, wait in line for test results now. I mean, it's just so inexcusable. Well, like, like you, I have an, uh, an elderly mother that I've been able to see exactly once who lives on the other side.